A gunman opened fire inside Appalachia High School. First responders from all over North Georgia raced to the scene. They not only came by ground, but by air, rushing those injured to the nearest trauma center for treatment. Fox News' Eric Perry is at the live desk. And Eric, you spoke with three of those emergency workers inside a medevac helicopter who came in to help. Yeah, coming in from all angles, Tom. Not only did they help, but they tell me they flew a 14-year-old girl to the hospital. She was shot three times and desperately needed blood. It's a September day etched into the minds of many after accused gunman Colt Gray burst into Appalachia High School armed with a gun, killing four, injuring nine others. Hundreds of first responders raced to the scene by ground. Matthew Dine, Lindsey Chapman, and John Phillips raced in from above. Time is everything in trauma. The faster we can get to the patient and start some life-saving procedures and then get them eventually to the trauma center um, just really saves lives. After hearing the initial dispatch, they decided to move the aircraft close to the school, which cut response times down to just minutes. From the outside, these helicopters look huge, but inside they're sitting shoulder to shoulder. That patient head right here so they can continue treatment until they get to the hospital. They say they airlifted a 14-year-old girl who was shot three times. They were able to place a turn get on her, start IVs, give her oxygen, and most importantly, blood before landing at Grady. They paid her a visit shortly after. It was really great to see her uh, sitting up and uh, being responsive. Um, and we haven't heard from them since, so if they're watching, we're, we're glad that you're back home and, and recovering well. It's just difficult that this kind of stuff shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen in life, so it's hard. But no matter what, it's still hard, especially for Trey Phillips, who responded to the 1999 Heritage High School mass shooting that wounded six. You never think you're gonna do it once. And two times is certainly too many. In this line of work, you have to kind of have a switch where you can shut your emotions off for a minute so you can do your job. Um, it's after the call that you have to deal with those emotions that you've had because we're all parents. I'm a grandparent, so, you know, uh, kids really hit you hard. So they tell me it was a traumatic day for sure, but they are thankful, they are grateful that the other first responders, they all sprang into action. Working together, they say it prevented so many more deaths and injuries from happening. At the live desk, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5. Uh, just so uh, amazing to hear those recounts uh, from those first responder heroes. Eric, thanks.